here's what I'm picking up and tell me what, what you're picking up. In certain sectors, we're seeing some layoffs ramp up again. Sorry to start with sort of the bad news, but I've noticed in healthcare and a few other sectors, things are kind of moving around, which signals what? That a lot of talented people are gonna be looking for something new. I know this is a tough question, but rough, rough numbers, how long does it typically take someone to find and land their next executive level role? Well, interestingly enough, there's there's a different set of numbers depending on how well they do in the first 60 days. So um, for those people that have not had a substantial pipeline in the first 60 days of them being unemployed, average time is eight to 12 months. Um, I know our average time when we're working with somebody one-on-one -on -one, it's usually closer to six, depending on how active they are, because, you know, we work with a lot of people who are passively looking, but actively looking and just starting their search, it's usually around six. Eight to 12 months is the national average for the executive level, simply because there are less positions out there, you know, if you look at the org chart. And... Um, you're not competing against unemployed people anymore because just because you're unemployed doesn't mean your competition is because since the jobs are few and far between, that means that most executives that have sometimes learned the hard way are always looking. So they'll always take a call. If a recruiter reaches out to them, they'll, they'll, you know, run out the ground ball as they say, and they'll check it out. So, You've got less supply or you've got less demand and you've got more supply, which creates a very competitive environment mm -hmm. at this level.